It's a red it velvet looks, brownie. It looks like a red blob right she now. She brought some brownies up to us, and it's over in that thing right there. Oh, and these are Dan's. So, so she brought, she brought some of Dan's. She said, she said, so that's Dan's, that's Dan's, that's Dan's, Wait, that's Dan's. Wait, that's Dan's. Blasphemy. There's, there's one under there for that, everybody to share. That one's not Dan's, though. No. Yeah, red velvet. It's from Taylor's. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. To you Hello. actually this is okay so me and Taylor are walking to our cars right because because we're all over here and we're in the parking lot and we stumble upon something kind of interesting it's this interesting West Virginia little beanie right here I don't know how many West Virginia fans you know I know one I know one you, West Virginia fan yep. I think out of all of my friends I know one that's a West Virginia fan and it just so happens that he was parked right here it, it does yeah yeah, very interesting that he was parked here. The, the question now is, should we leave it or should we pick it up? That is a good question. Oh, and, and here comes, this is, for those uh, of you that don't know, uh, the one West Virginia fan's wife. Wife. This would be, this would be her coming right here that you can sort of see. So, uh, look, let me ask you a question. Yeah. How many, other than your husband, West Virginia fans do you know? In LaGrange. In LaGrange. So, okay, so, okay, she laughed and hesitated, which means uh, really none. Maybe some, like, halfway West Virginia oh, fans, some half-hearted. No, 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 I know one. Okay. I know, okay. Uh, um, this could go on behind the scenes. You, you, are you going to out somebody for being a West Virginia fan? Well, okay, the guy he works with lives in Noonan but works here. Yeah. Okay. Does it count? Well, let me ask you this. If he's a West Virginia fan, what, was he here tonight? The question the remains, was that person here tonight? No. No, so then... Who what is be? that? That's his hands. That is your dance. husband's Listen, West Virginia why, beanie. I don't know how, why I'm still in high school. I could just go and become an investigator. But how did this get here? Well, I don't know. Was Dan Park here? I, I thought there was something much more conspiracy about no. what you were talking about. No, I was like, what serious, is happening? Serious business. <laughs> what are we doing? Sorrow and Parts. 
Now we're going to play a song. Now we're going to play a song. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that like this. Go for it. <laughs> hey Derek. Get all that. I'm just trying to get by. John's just trying to get by. I'm stronger than I fear, I think. Megan, how do you feel? John, you okay? My dear. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Why do I play guitar? I'm in a moment, and I know you can't hear, but it, I'm in a moment. He's in a moment. Oh. Hey, how was recording? I can't It was that good. <laughs> okay, just go back downstairs now. Yes. <laughs> Metal Monday, not on Monday, because it's Saturday. Oh, gosh! You're breaking things, John. <laughs> so, I'm playing my wonderful Duesenberg star player uh -huh. guitar. Uh huh. Beautiful. Um, and then from there, I run into my tuner because you know we tune because we care. We tune. And then I go into my uh, polyphonic octave generator. Your your what, what language is that? Polyphonic octave generator. Okay. I say that just to sound smart. I, all I know is it adds octaves. It's, it's kind of cool. And then I go to my compressor. And then from my compressor to my overdrive right now because you know 808 and hardcore. I have both gains on. And then I go to my volume pedal. And then for my volume pedal, I go to my delay, and then to my vibrato chorus pedal, and then my reverb, which always stays on, and then my looper, which I hardly ever use. But hey, it's there, just for the And then from there, I go to my beautiful Morgan AC48. Which you can't see because it's covered up by all these nice little foam pads here. But it looks good under there. It looks good. You can't see it. Yeah, but it looks good. can't tell. You can, you can see a couple little knobs, and that's about it. <laughs> So tell me about Jesus. Better question, can you tell me anything about Jesus? Oh, what is it? I don't know who's saying that, but somebody said they died on the, he died on the cross. You're right. What else? Man, for a bunch of Christians, y'all don't know much about Jesus. Whoo. Am I exposing, what was that? Endless love. This this like corner right here seems to have all the answers. Am I, am I? Let me ask you a question. Am I exposing something right now? Yep. Am I exposing that we don't know much about Jesus? 
Does it seem harsh? A little. You think it's awkward for you? I feel really awkward right now. Like really awkward. Because I know some of you guys can tell me about Jesus, but you don't. that you would just, you would give them just a love for your word, God, a, a passion to know you more and more. God, into the people that rededicated their lives, God, I pray that you would give them a passion for living out their faith, for relentlessly, every day, actively engaging every day the lost people of this world and talking about Jesus everywhere they go. I still don't know what I'm doing.